Now, when you're building your LS engine on a budget or you're just building it, you need to remember all these engines have the same, literally the same size and shape. They fit in anything. And they have the infamous six bolt main bottom end. But let's just say you have a 5.3 and you want to build it up like a BBW with self-esteem issues. On a stock block 5.3, without opening the block, you could get easily 5 to 550 to 600 horsepower. The block will handle over a thousand, but those internals will not. You will definitely need to upgrade your internals. Don't take no chances. Now, when building your LS, there are cheap routes that you could take. This is a Gen 4 5.3 rod and piston. It's very thick and meaty. Now, this is a Gen 3 5.3 rod and piston. It's, it's fairly weak. So what you're going to do is find some stock Gen 4 5.3 internals and just basically use it primarily the rod and piston. That's it. They can handle a thousand horsepower and above. It's been proven. Instead of breaking the bank to go get a brand new cam package and all type of stuff, just go snag a LS6 cam. Go find you some LS6 valve springs. Go upgrade your oil pump also. You're definitely going to need this when you're making high horsepower. Go snag some 243 heads off of a LS1 or an LS6. They flow pretty great. If you can find some from like a junkyard or somewhere, just get them ported and polished or whatever the case may be and you're good cheap heads but if you don't mind spending the bank to go basically update everything instead of getting reused valve train parts just go get a btr cam kit or texas speed or whatever whatever it is you prefer you can use the ls6 intake with this entire combo or you could just maintain the truck intake since they flow just as good find some bigger injectors arp head studs and don't forget main studs after this you definitely can run boost you can run a twin turbo setup or you could just run one big stank nasty ass turbo or you can run a 76 millimeter turbo and a 200 shot of nitrous at the same time it's all up to you and after you build it perfectly find out what boost you want to run this engine will handle the abuse like a virgin on a casting couch. Same thing goes with a 6.0 LS. You could put LQ9 rods inside of a LQ4 and make over a thousand horsepower. You could keep the stock crank or you could just leave the internals of, of the uh, LQ4 alone and just gap the piston rings. Man, there's so many combinations you can use. It's crazy. Love you guys. Quick intermission. I didn't mean to say the LS1 came with the 243 heads. The LS1 came with 241 heads. So with that mix up getting being corrected, um, let's continue with the show. Hello everybody, it's the Black Card Guru back with another video. And today I have something very special for you guys. I have two very special things for you guys. This guy here is Jason. Cool dude. And he's brought some heat. I'm excited, dog. What we have here today is a 1967 Chevy Malibu. It has a stock LS3 crate engine, of course. It also has a T5 five-speed manual transmission. My guy Jason went in and gave it the works. He said, you know what? Forget it. I'm finna go and restore the whole thing and went in with this. He got the Dakota Digital Dash, everybody. Dakota Digital. Don't just restore it. Make it look like it came off the lot in 1967 and the best part he didn't just stop here a normal man would have stopped here but this ain't no normal man not at all let's keep going people with great power comes great responsibility he got the qa1 suspension package dog come on man followed by a disc brake conversion brand new gas tank but it doesn't just stop with the gas tank. Oh no, oh no. Let's take it the distance. This is what I be talking about. When you're doing a resto mod or you're doing an LS swap, 
You don't have to go for high horsepower. Some people just like to enjoy their stuff. You know, you don't need a thousand horsepower. Sometimes all you need is an LS3 in an old school. It'll take you a very long ways. I get this ride a 10 out of 10. But wait, there's more. Jason also has a GTO. It has a trans brake. It also has a 400 trans swapped into it. Makes 440 wheel horsepower. It's line lock and a B&M shifter. It also has a 200 shot of dry nitrous, a LSXR 102 millimeter intake manifold, and a 102 millimeter um, throttle body. It also has billet specialty wheels wrapped with 29 by 11 drag slicks. So far, this mean machine runs a 12.52 seconds, but in the future, he's planning on running 10 seconds while maintaining his AC. Make sure after this video you go follow Jason, you know, to keep up with the Malibu and his GTO. Because I honestly think they are some dope builds. Yeah, go like, share, support, do whatever you got to do. But make sure this man's cars get seen.